ingredients. Here at Algae Nerd Ingredients, we produce a next generation sustainable plant-based protein ingredient, which is good for you and for the planet. We've reimagined one of nature's smallest and oldest plants to create a zero waste, delicious tasting ingredient, which is flexible and ready to use in food and beverages. The things that have held microalgae back aren't just the color and the taste. The things that have held microalgae back is scale, an accessible scale. So you need to take a company like Unilever or any other large food company on a journey, which convinces them that there is a scalable opportunity. That is so good. These are really sweet. Mm. Mm. That's excellent. There's a, an ingredient in there that you would be quite surprised about. There's algae in there. What would you really? say to that? What? I just wouldn't even be able to tell. Mm. I'd be shocked. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't expect that. Wow, yeah, very yeah. surprised. Definitely. Definitely. We're eating an mm. algae brownie. Mm. I'm uh, Patricia Harvey. I'm a professor of biochemistry and I'm also head of the Aquatic Biotechnology and Biology Lab of the University of Greenwich. And we're standing in the pilot laboratory, which has been funded by a European project to cultivate microalgae. And all across Europe, we've got laboratories just like this, where scientists are busy cultivating microalgae to be able to test them into new foods. And here at the university, we're focusing our efforts um, on a tiny little orange-yellow microalga called Daniliella salina. The clue is in the salina. Salina means salt. And these are salt-loving algae, which means that they grow in salty water, which we can't drink, around the globe, and also consume carbon dioxide. So they become incredibly sustainable. Microalgae have um, different advantages using them in uh, food. So you have really a big variety in uh, microalgae. Microalgae also have a very high nutritional value. So some have very interesting lipid profiles. Uh, others have interesting pigments. So depending on the food item you want to, to prepare, you can use one or the other microalgae. I think Europe is not ready at this stage when you compare it with Asia. But this is actually the reason why we do focus on taste. We think taste can be an important factor to convince consumers to start eating microalgae. So the Dutch Wheat Burger is a plant-based food company. We're based in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Uh, and, and what we do basically is we, um, you know, we have your regular street food products, uh, but we, we've enriched them with uh, seaweed and with microalgae. The Dutch Wheat Burger has done it with a really popular and accessible product. and, and uh, we're part of the largest retailer in uh, in the Netherlands, for example, right now, and we I think we're we're looking at international uh, listings. I think if we know and if we learn how to eat it and, and 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 integrate it into our daily food choice, I think we can have many health benefits from it as individuals, both as a society. And when people start to realize that seaweed and microalgae, you know, are the you know the best that the plant-based kingdom has to offer. I think they will they will shift towards that uh, towards those products uh, sooner rather than later. For more details about bringing sustainably produced healthy seaweed and algae products onto the market, please visit our website.